Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. Unfortunately, I'm late again. This should have come out two weeks ago. Here's the reason why. I wanted to make a video about the brand new version of Adobe's Premiere Pro, especially about their faster GPU rendering, which I was super excited about only to find out that my GPU is not supported, which is a bummer, no doubt. But yeah, that video would have made no sense at all. I'm honestly a little <laughs> And sure, that might have some technical reasons that I don't completely understand, but it feels more like they want me to spend my hard-earned money again and again and again and again and 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 who to blame nvidia adobe or both maybe i don't know anyway i got to come up with a new idea for a video first i thought i could just upload an update video telling you what videos to expect in the next couple of weeks but that felt a bit lame to be honest so I decided once again to chill out on it and give it another try later that week and here we are two weeks later wow I'm definitely not the most reliable host I guess um, don't judge me but enough of those boring explanations. Let's now focus on today's topic, shall we? Pixel sorting. A pretty cool effect that I really, really, really like. And I want to show you two easy ways to achieve an effect like this. Well, here we are in DaVinci Resolve. We have our clip patiently waiting for us in the timeline and now we can directly hop over into the Fusion workspace. Boom, just like this. Between the media in, which is selected right now, and the media out node, we now add a third node. So shift and space bar that opens the tool selection. I type in Pixel, there it is, pixel sorting, add. This node is not a part of DaVinci or Fusion by default. If you're interested and want to try it for yourself, which I highly recommend, by the way, you can download the Fuse file from Chris Riddings. Oh man, I, I, I hope I got your last name right here. Um, sorry if not. Anyways, the link is in the description, like always. Also, go visit his YouTube channel and make sure to follow lots of nice tips and tricks there. But back to my clip. You can see it's already working, but of course we can adjust the effect if we like to. Starting with its direction. By default, that's vertical. We can change that to horizontal and now our streaks go from left to right. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I changed that back to vertical. I think that makes more sense um, for my clip here. Next, you can sort your pixels by luminance, hue, saturation or one of the individual color channels. I'll leave that on luminance for now. Sort values, that basically inverts the effect. You see? Once again, cool. When we change the output type from pixel sort to selection, we can see what parts of the image will be affected and refine that selection with the range low and high values down here. Let me just dial them in. Okay, and if I now switch it back to pixel sort, you can see that the table and the wall behind me are not affected. It's only my face, my shirt, basically, yeah, me. This next slider here can be used to set the minimum and maximum length 
of the streaks. Let me show you what I mean by changing those values. See? Now the minimum value is 1000. Let's set it maybe to, let's try 10. Mm, lame. <laughs> maybe 50. Yeah, better. And that's it. It's the, the, yeah, the length of the streaks. One super cool function that he added is the noise input. Let's quickly add a fast noise. And plug it into the pixel sorting node like this. And now I bump up the detail, contrast and scale, maybe even more. And you can see what it's doing to our effect. Super cool. And you can even change the apply mode, maybe to screen or to, I don't know, color dodge. And let's say you want to um, animate this noise, then that's also no problem, of course. Lots of cool stuff that you can do with it. And yes, everything in here can easily be animated. Now let's create a similar looking effect in After Effects. Here I am again, same clip, different tool. Again, I'm using a plugin that does not come with the program itself. That plugin can be purchased for 15 US dollars. You'll find the link in the description below, of course. So not free like the Fusion alternative, but also not super expensive. There is also a plugin available via AE Scripts. That one is around 40 bucks and it's called AE Pixel Sorter 2. But that's not the one I'm using here. Just wanted to get that out of the way. Okay, let's open the effect. It's called Pix Sort. You'll find it down here. Boom. What's cool about this tool here is that we can freely choose any angle we like. In the pixel sorting node in Fusion, we had to pick either vertical or horizontal. I love to have that option here. And if we really want to go fully horizontal, we just type in 90 and that's it. Maybe that's something that can be added to the pixel sorting node in a future update. I don't know. Don't want to put pressure on anybody. Just an idea. By changing the view from result to interval mask, it's possible to dial in the perfect values for the mask. And another cool feature is the smoothing option here. Once the mask is set, it's possible to change the shape from linear to circular, spiral, radial zoom, and so on, which can lead to pretty cool results. Let me just show you this one here. Who? Spiral looks like this, and we can even stuff like this which looks super crazy okay but back to linear like in fusion everything here is animatable which you can see by the amount of stopwatches over here on the left and hey if this is not crazy enough for you just add a second pick sort effect on top and change some values. This is super fun to play around with. 
All in all, this plugin feels more complete than the pixel sorting fuse, but let's be fair. This is a paid plugin and the fuse has that cool feature to add noise on top of the effect. Not bad, definitely not bad. In my opinion, both tools are very capable and it's super fun to play around with this stuff. Okay, and that's it for today, my friends. Super cool effect, if you ask me. And whether you work with After Effects or Fusion, now you should know how to sort your pixels with ease. If you like this video, give me your thumbs up, please. Share it with your friends and family, and I hope to see you next week, hopefully on Wednesday. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I won't stop trying. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye.